Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Vexel's PSD templates to quickly create professional, scalable designs for your shop. Let's go ahead and jump to my computer and we will get started. If you're not familiar with Vexel's, it is a great resource and investment for your t-shirt business to take it to the next level. You have access to very high quality and professional designs that are created by graphic designers. One of my most favorite tools that they have is the scalable t-shirt PSDs. It is one t-shirt template file that you can download and edit in Photoshop with endless possibilities and I'll show you exactly how you do this now. This is a great resource to use because Vexels is always adding new PSD templates to their site. If you have very limited graphic design skills, you can use these different templates very easily. You just download one of them and you can edit it however you'd like. So if you wanna change what it says, the color, the spacing, the graphics, that can all be done on their PSD templates with their smart layers. And I'll walk you through exactly how to do this now, but if you look at these, there's a lot of different options to choose from that you can easily create scalable designs designs for your shop. We will go ahead and download one of these PSD templates and edit it in Photoshop so you can see how easily it is to one, edit them, and two, to scale them with multiple designs. The retro vintage sunset is very trendy and popular right now, so I'll go ahead and select this one. After you've selected it, you can then go ahead and download the scalable PSD template to your computer and then open it up in Photoshop and edit it however you would like. So I'll hit download. After I've hit downloaded, I'll go ahead and open the zip file. I will then go and find the Photoshop file here and double click on it to open it. And the best part about these PSD templates is you can download it once and create endless amount of designs. Once you have opened the template in Photoshop, you'll see the top layer here is instructions. So you'll see the green layers are the easiest to edit and then the red is the hardest ones to edit. Every text is editable and you have different objects to interchange and it's very easy to do with their smart layers. All you have to do is double click and then easily edit them. So what I'll first wanna do here is hide the instructions. So I'll just hit the eyeball here and hide that layer. And now we see we have this base template here. So we have California Beach and we can edit this however we'd like. So we can change California to say something different, beach to say something different, change the colors of it, swap out this graphic with palm trees and I'll walk you through exactly how to do that. Something I do wanna note though is if you bring in a new template to Photoshop and you don't have a lot of fonts downloaded already, you may need to download fonts and I'll show you an example here with this exact template. So if I wanna edit the text here, I'll double click on the smart layer. And this is a perfect example here. So these fonts are missing in this text layer and it's the Damien font. If we wanna edit the text, we will have to have this font downloaded in order for it to match exactly how it is here. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and I'll hit cancel. I will go to Google and download this font. There's a few different places you can download these fonts from. So you can either do Google Fonts or Duff Font or Adobe Fonts. It really just depends on where you want to download them from. But I will just do a Google search of the specific font that I'm looking for. So it's the Damien font. I'll go ahead and type that in. And here's the first one, Google Fonts, the Damien font. And it's very easy to download and it's very quick to do. And I will just confirm that this is the exact font that I have on my PSD template, which it is. And I'll go ahead and hit download family. After it has downloaded, I will open this zip file and then I'll double click on the Damien regular. And up here on the top left-hand corner, you'll see where it says install. Go ahead and click install and that will install to your computer and then you'll have access to this font in Photoshop. I can now go ahead and close this tab and I'll close Google Fonts here and then I'll open up Photoshop again and now the Damien font should be added to my Photoshop fonts. And I'll double click on this text layer and you see that little error flag went away and now I have access to edit this font easily with the exact matching font that Vexels had. So let's go ahead and mess around with this PSD template and edit it however we'd like and make it completely our own, completely different from the Vexels one. So we will go ahead and change California to say something different. So I'll double click on that smart layer and you'll see it highlights the font. If I wanna edit what it says, I'll just go ahead and start typing in whatever I want it to say. So I will do Jackson Hole. So we change California to say Jackson Hole and then we'll change Beach to say Wyoming. We'll go ahead and double click on that layer. So double click right here on text 02 and I'll type in Wyoming. Now we will reposition these texts to place them wherever we want. So if you wanna move it, just go ahead and drag it to wherever you want it to be placed. So I will drop it right here and you can easily change the font size if you'd like. So I'll go ahead and change this to let's say 600. Then I'll hit enter and it makes it a little bigger. You can do the same on Jackson Hole if you would like. If you wanna undo that, just hit Control Z or Command Z on Apple. You can also change the spacing of it. So if you want the letters to be further spaced apart, you just plug that in right here and that will create more spacing between each letter. So really you can change whatever you'd like on these PSD templates. You can also easily change the color of the text. So I just double click on FX here 
And then over here, select stroke, and this will be for our Jackson Hole text. So now you can change this to whatever color you'd like. So if you want the text to be blue, you can easily do that. And then once you've selected the color that you'd like, you'd go ahead and hit OK, and then OK. Now our text is blue, so very easy to do. I'll go ahead and undo that. Now I will show you how you can change the graphic that's on this template. So if I want to change the palm trees to a different image, I can go ahead and do that. I'll double click on the image here. And if you need to make this canvas size smaller or bigger, you just hit Control minus or plus on Windows or Command minus or plus on Apple. But I'll go ahead and make that smaller so I can easily drag in my new image that I'd like. And I have already downloaded one that I will be using, so I'll go and access that from my downloads folder. So I'll use the Grand Tetons here for Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'll just drag that over from my downloads and drop it onto the existing image. And now I can scale this bigger to fill out the whole canvas. So I'll just grab the corner here and drag it out as far as I'd like. And I'll do that on each corner until it fills the whole space. And after I have done that, I can just select the image and drag it to wherever I want it so it can be positioned exactly how I would like it to be. Once I have the new image saved how I would like it, I'll go up here and hit X. It'll ask me if I want to save the changes and I'll hit yes. And it will update the smart objects and my new image will be saved. We now have Jackson Hole, Wyoming and the Grand Tetons as our graphic. The next thing I want to do is change the style of this retro sunset. So I'll double click on shapes. And now you'll see we have all these different sunset options to choose from. So if you want to select a different one, you just turn it on by hitting that box there and then turning off the existing one. And you can go through there, see what ones you'd like. Personally, I like this box here. I'll change the entire shape of it. Again, turn off the existing one before I save that smart object. When I'm ready to save, I'll do the exact same thing as previously. I'll hit the X up here, hit yes to save changes, and then that will update. Now that that has updated, I will adjust my text just a little bit. So I wanna drag Jackson Hole up. I just select it and I can drag it wherever I want it to be placed. And then the same thing with Wyoming. If I wanna drag this up or down, I can do the same. And you'll see that purple line that pops up, that means that the text is centered. So very user friendly, especially if you have very limited graphic design skills, the PSD templates is a lifesaver when it comes to creating scalable designs for your shop. And again, you can almost edit anything. You can adjust the spacing between the letters. You can place the text wherever you want it. So you can get a couple designs out of one very easily. If you wanna rotate your sunset, you can do that as well. So hit the drop down arrow here on design. And then you see these two layers for sunset. I'd select one of them and then hit shift and select the other so that both of them are highlighted. And once that is done, I will hit control T if you're on Windows or command T if you're on Apple. And now that will highlight that vintage sunset and it'll grab both layers for you. So you can adjust that how you would like. If I wanna rotate it, just go to the corner You'll see those two arrows pop up and you can select and you can rotate it how you want it to be placed. So very easy to do and it gives you a lot of different options that you can do with one PSD template that you download off of Vexels. I do like it straight though, so I'll just hit undo by using the shortcut Control Z on Windows or Command Z on Apple. And I feel like I'm pretty happy with this design. And this is a very quick and efficient way to create multiple designs out of one PSD template from Vexels. And if you wanna see what this would look like on a white shirt, you can easily change the background color by double clicking on background and then change it to a white background for a white shirt. Obviously this specific design wouldn't work on a white shirt, but I could adjust the colors if needed. I now wanna show you a different PSD template from Vexels. I really like this one here, cool story. Again, we can easily edit the text, edit the graphics and make it 100% our own and then it's the same process just change the text to say whatever you want it to say change the graphic change the colors you can edit everything on these PSD templates very easily and very quickly we will first change the text here to say something different so I will double click on the layer that says one text that will allow me to change cool so go ahead and double click and then I can double click here and it will highlight it all so I will change this to say coffee You'll notice coffee is too big for the space. We can easily scale this down so that it will fit our canvas. If you wanna do that, you will hit Control T on Windows or Command T on Apple, and then it'll highlight it here. And now we can easily scale this down. So I'll just drag the side here and pull that in. If you wanna reposition it, again, you just select the text and you can drag it over and you'll see the purple lines there pop up to know that it's centered. I wanna make this just a little bit bigger here. So I'll scale this out and then place it exactly how I want it. Once I have it where I want it, I will exit out just how we did on our previous PSD template. So hit the X, say yes to save changes, and then that will update that smart layer and it'll now say coffee. So now we need to change this text here that says story. So double click on the layer that says to text and I'll repeat the process.
Looks pretty good, says coffee vibes. I now want to swap out this image for a cup of coffee. So I'll double click on the image and I will now bring in the new graphic that I already have saved here. And for your graphics, make sure you are using royalty free images and that they are okay for commercial use. So you can pull these graphics from Vexels. You can easily download them off of Vexels. There's a lot of different options to choose from or you can use them from royalty free sites depending on where you get your graphics from. So again, I'll place this where I want it to be placed and then I'll go ahead and exit out and update that layer. Now we have coffee vibes with the coffee cup, looks really good, but I do want to adjust the color of this design. So I'll double click on colors where it says four color and you can adjust this gradient fill to whatever color you'd like. So hit the drop down arrow here and you can see your different options. You have basics, blues, purples, pinks, and pick whatever one that you would like. So for me, I will be doing cloud. I'll hit that drop down arrow and then I can select one of these and you'll see it easily updates the color. So super easy to use and for me with very little background in graphic design, I can easily make some very high quality and professional designs. And this is a design that I would never be able to make on my own if it wasn't for Vexels. So I'll hit okay to update that color fill. And also if you don't like the font style that is on the template, you can easily change it to whatever font style you want. You do the exact same process by double clicking whatever text is that you wanna change. And then to change the font style, just over here on the bottom right hand corner or wherever your toolbar is here, under character, you'll change the font style right here. And you can change it to whatever one you want and make it 100% unique and 100% your own. But very easy to do with the PSD templates. And remember, you can use this PSD template to apply to any type of niche that you are designing in, which makes it very easy and very scalable. And now we're ready to save and export this design as a PNG. You first want to remove the background. So over here on background, you'll select the eyeball here to remove the background. And now we can save this as a PNG. So go up to the top left hand corner hit file, export, quick export as PNG, and then save this design to whatever location you would like. Once it has completed exporting, we will now have access to our new design that we created with the PSD template from Vexels. And now we are ready to add this design to our mockups and publish it to our store. And right now Vexels is doing a Christmas holiday sale. So if you use my link that is in the description, you will receive 40% off on their merch and business lifetime plans. So don't miss out, the sale ends on December 27th. If you wanna see how much I made on Etsy with my print on demand store last month, watch this video right here and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video